the big news coming from the state of Kerala. The this is about the Kerala rape case and Franco Mulakkal now stands acquitted in the num nun rape case. This is the latest that we are getting from Kerala as Franco Mulakkal who was in accused uh, in the Kerala nun rape case now stands acquitted. My colleague Vivek now joins me on the phone line. Vivek, Franco Mulakkal acquitted. On what grounds? Uh, yes, uh, ex-bishop of uh, you know Jalandhar, uh, Franco Mulakkal, uh, has been acquitted uh, in the nun rape and assault case. Remember, there are serious charges against him. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know the judge says, the additional court judge says, is that the cases will not hold the court of law. Uh, and he is being acquitted. He is not a convict in this particular case. We are yet to get the details, the court details. Uh, we have still not got uh, on what grounds exactly has been Franco Mulakel been acquitted, set acquitted. It's yet to be known, but the court aim, additional sessions court, uh, the, the order has been proclaimed by an additional session judge, uh, Mr. Gobakumar. Uh, now, Franco has also reacted. He has folded his hand in front of the court in the car where he was sitting, and he, was, he said, he, said uh, he thanked God uh, and, uh, for uh, you know, the order that's been pronounced right now. Franco also, there were some sentimental scenes out there. Franco had, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he had uh, went and... Uh, Thank the advocates uh, who were there in the uh, in the sessions court out there. We are yet to get the details on what grounds has uh, you know the ex bishop of uh, you know Jalandhar been acquitted. Back to you. Okay, Vivek. In fact, uh, if you could take our viewers through the timeline of this case because this was the most discussed case as far as the state of Kerala is concerned. In fact, a quite a high-profile case because uh, the Kerala court was set to deliver its verdict. Now the verdict is out. Franco Mulakkal stands acquitted. This is the non-rape case that we are talking about that involved the bishop Franco Mulakkal. Uh, if you could just take our viewers through the timeline of this entire case. 2018, that a nun in Kuravalangad, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kuravalangad Church, uh, who has made this accusation against the Franco Mulakel, that he had he used to visit uh, four to five times uh, in this uh, particular convent, and used to call her to the room and sexually assault her. Uh, and also, uh, when she had later written letters and also complained to the senior superior authorities, uh, you know, uh, you know, Franco Mulakel and the church itself has intervened at the point of time. Uh, you know, uh, the FCC congregation who was there at the point of time had, uh, you know, uh, had also uh, warned, uh, you know, the uh, the victim at the point of time. As you can see in the visuals right now, uh, you know, uh, right now uh, that Franco Mulakal is thanking with folded hands uh, to the media. He has not spoken till now to the media as of such now. Uh, what we understand is that he he, he thanked, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, you know, the, the, the advocates who were there, uh, the legal uh, advocates uh, who were there with him, who supported him, and also all the people. We still don't know on what basis that Franco Mulakel uh, has uh, been acquitted. He said that the truth has won at this point of time. Uh, it's yet to be known, uh, you know, the various uh, issues, the various uh, points that the court has taken into consideration to set free, uh, you know, the ex-bishop of uh, Jalandhar. Uh, there is a lot of scenes, uh, you know, uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, Happening right now in the court in uh, in Kotayam, Franco Mulakel can be seen, uh, you know, kind of uh, going and thanking, uh, you know, holding the hands of the advocates at the point of time. He got into the car. He didn't uh, stand at the court. He was there for 10 minutes out there. He came there within uh, 15 minutes. Uh, you know, the the judge Gobakumar, Kumar had uh, you know come out with a verdict, uh, saying that uh, Franco Mulakel is uh, acquitted. He then you know he burst in tears, and then you can see him going uh, and, you know, uh, thanking the advocates. And uh, there is a lo large number of people out there. Uh, he's, uh, you know, you can also see uh, his supporters, uh, you know, raising slogans saying, uh, praise the Lord uh, at the point of time, just outside the additional sessions court. Uh, now he will be heading back to Ernakulam and uh, today or tomorrow that he will be going back to Jalanda. It's still not known. But this case is very, very serious. Uh, you know, right from 2018, uh, there has been major protests within the church itself to arrest Franco Mulakel. Even after that, in 2019, several letters that's been uh, shared between uh, the uh, the church and uh, you know, uh, you know, the survivor in this case has come out. We ourselves have re reported this number of times, uh, and uh, we saw the protests within the church. Five nuns. Uh, 
uh, you know, and then we saw Sister Lucy who protested outside the High High Court, how she has been treated, and later, uh, you know, uh, the Sessions Court in Kottayam, and even the Kerala High Court has rejected uh, his bail plea not once but twice. But now the additional session court has acquitted uh, Franco Mulakel from the charges that's been registered against him. So as of now, Franco Mulakel, the ex-bishop of right, Jananda, Vivek. seems acquitted. Yeah. Right, Vivek. We will wait for. Uh, uh, we'll we'll wait to bring uh, those visuals that you've been talking about to our viewers. In fact, uh, let me take take our viewers through what has developed as far as this particular case is concerned. Uh, in fact, uh, the all right. Uh, let me quickly uh, cut across to Flavia Agnes, the women's rights lawyers. Uh, she is joining me on the phone line. Miss Agnes, thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast. Uh, very, very important development coming to light from Kerala. And uh, we see that Franco Mulakal, despite those rape charges against him, now stands acquitted. Uh, you don't know the details on what details he's been acquitted, but uh, it's a big setback for the movement within the church. 